When it comes to writing the code out inside of each of our routes to do what we want, we don't really want to be outputting HTML content from these routes. What we want to do is we want to hand this off to our view, which will separate all of the logic we write from those views. And this is a common practice and it keeps everything nice and tidy. And we can pass data through to them to be shown. So to do this, we can install a slim extension called slim views, and this will use twig. So if we open up our terminal and we require this into our project, it's called slim. So it's under the slim vendor namespace and it's called twig view. So let's install this and then we'll look at working with it. So now that's done, you can see that as well as pulling down that extension, it's also pulled down twig. That's the language that we're going to be working with. So we're going to do a similar thing that we did with our config and we're going to add this to the container so we can render views from within our roots. So to do this, we just say container view. Again, we have our function just here with our container in there in its current state. And here we need to instantiate a twig loader. And to do this, we just say new slim views twig. So the loader will allow us to load in a directory that we want to pull our views from. So in the main directory, let's create a folder called resources. And then inside of here, let's create a folder called views. And this is where we're going to uh, keep all of our views. So all we do is inside of here, pass in resources views. So now we're going to add an extension on and this will allow us to do things like generate URLs to roots from within our views and other things as well. So we're going to say view add extension and we say a new slim views twig extension and within this we pass two arguments so i'm going to pull this down the first is the slim router this will allow us to have access to generating them urls from our roots and if that doesn't make sense at the moment it will do much later on and now we want to pull in our base url and remember our base url is stored in our config just here so we know how to access our config within our container. We've already done it with router and all we need to do is say C config get URL and that's it. So we've passed through the router item in our container and we've passed through the current URL of our project. And finally from this we just return that view loader we created up there and now we have the ability to render views. So we need to actually test this out. So under views, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this home.twig. You can give it whatever extension you like. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to say home view. And now rather than echo anything out from within this route, we're going to actually render the view. And to do this, we say this and then view. Remember under our container, it has the name view. So we do exactly the same thing as we did with our config. And now we use the render method to render out a view. We pass in our response, which remember we pulled from here. And then we just give the name of the view. Remember we passed resources views into here. So it knows to look within this folder. So it's just home.twig, simple as that. And now if we check this out in our browser, we have a slight error. So let's head over to bootstrap.php on line 17. And that's because I added an extra comma just there. Fixing that up, when we refresh, we see that we've now rendered a view. So within our roots, all of our logic can go here. And then at the end of that, we just render our view. We can pass data through to our view if we want within an array, but we'll look at doing that a little bit later when we need to.